Okay, so now we're going to try a little something with the pencil tool. So I'm going to place a picture here of a woman. There we go. And go to my layers palette, and I'm going to lock that. And I'll name this drawing, this layer. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this picture here. Okay, and take off my fill and put on my stroke here. And I'm going to make uh, put a little black color so we can see what we're doing, or even red, so it's somewhat different. Okay, and we're here on this layer. Okay, so I'm going to begin, and remember the tip of the pencil tool is the active part. Oh, I'm a little wiggly there. I think I'll undo that over there. Okay. And I'll just go like this. And same like this. You don't get as much control with the pencil tool as you do with the pen tool, but you know there's a certain amount of freedom that you get also. So you have to decide what look you want. Okay, we'll put in a little earring there. And let's do the rest of her head. There we go. And come down here. All right, and the rest of her hairline, and the earring. Let's get that in. Oh, that's not very good. We'll just control D that. Oh, jeez, why am I having problems? Hold my wrist. If you hold your wrist, that will help steady you. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in on the eyes to do that. And the rest of the face, there we go. And go to the pencil tool here, and I'm just doing a suggestion of the brow here. And the eye. And with the ellipse tool, I'm going to make a little circle for the eye, and one here. That's too big. No, oh dear. Come on. I'll have to make that smaller. Just come in over here like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we'll go back here to the nose and the nostril and, and make a little bit of the nostril here. Okay, and now the mouth. Let's go over the top part of the mouth and Oops. The problem is, is it wants to make a new line. I'm going to redo that. I don't like the way that came. Remember, we have 20 undos in Illustrator, so that's good. Okay, so here I'll do this here, and a line here, and I think that's good. Okay, so now um, I will hide my picture here, and you can see I have a sketch of 
the woman. But I can do one more thing with this, and I want to show you because it's really kind of fun. You can go to your st stroke palette, and here where it says profile, the default is uniform. You can take and select these lines here and change it to some of these to give it um, a more of a calligraphy look to it. Here's another one. We're just going to move this up here so you can see the difference. Or you can go to your brushes and you can try different brush like that. It doesn't look too good. Or let's see what else we can do here. There are calligraphy brushes that you can use. And so you see, you can get some different looks just by changing the brushes. And of course, you can go here to the brush library. And let's go to artistic. And you have a whole mess of um, calligraphy. Or let's try, um, yeah, let's try the calligraphy. And here you've got this one here, and you can get a different look there. So I really encourage you to um, go ahead and do your own drawing now and um, put it in the Dropbox when you're finished and have fun with these brushes and these pens and, and these different strokes. Goodbye now.